Hi, my name is Daniel Ogilvy, and I'm an Applications Engineer in the Hercules Safety MCU Group. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started with the Hercules I.O. MUX tool. The Hercules I.O. MUX tool is a new standalone multiplexing configuration and code generation tool for use with the Hercules family of microcontrollers. The I.O. MUX tool is a part of the Halcogen software, so its interface should be familiar and easy to use. To create a new I.O. MUX project, open Halcogen and navigate to File and select New Project. In this video, I will be using the TMDX570 LS31 HDK device. Now select the TMDX570 LS31 HDK from the TMS570 LS31X family. Then enter a name and choose a location to save your project. Now select the Pin Mux tab or the Pin Mux block on the block diagram to configure pin muxing options. There are three regions in the IO MUX interface. The first is the Enable Disable Peripherals region, located at the top of the workspace. These options allow you to enable and disable all muxing options for the selected peripheral. This region also allows you to configure special muxing options for your device. Located below are individual muxing options. This allows you to manually override the configurations enabled by the Enable Disable Peripherals group. The first column lists the pin or ball locations. The next five columns display every possible muxing option in order of priority for that location. The last column of this group will highlight any muxing conflicts that have occurred during the setup. The bottommost region is the output console. This console will automatically update you on any new conflicts that arise or when any conflicts are resolved. Clicking the List Conflicts button will list all remaining conflicts. For this demonstration, I will configure the TMDX570 LS31 HDK to use the RMII, NHET2, GIOB, and AD2 EVT. To enable these peripherals, I will start in the Enable Disable Peripherals region. First, check the boxes next to RMII, NHET2, GIOB, and AD2 EVT. This will enable all the appropriate muxing options for these peripherals. You'll notice in the output console a new conflict has arisen on ball V10. To fix this conflict, scroll down to ball V10 and notice the rightmost column is enabled, indicating a conflict. To resolve this conflict, I will disable GIOB2. The output console will now read conflict cleared on ball V10. Clicking the list conflicts button will return an empty list, indicating all conflicts have been cleared. Now I am ready to generate code. To do this, navigate to File and select Generate Code. The Device Explorer on the right will now show the header and C code files. Double-clicking a file will show the generated code. The pins I didn't configure are set to their default option. If you generate code with any unresolved conflicts, IOMUX will default to the highest priority option. Congratulations! Your code is now ready to incorporate in your Code Composer Studio project. For more information about Hercules MCUs, visit ti.com/hercules. Thanks for watching.